Hi guys, my name is Steven, and I like to make cardboard costumes and props. Today I'm going to make Vulture's Mask from Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Let's jump right into it. The movie isn't out yet, so I'm basing my design on the one teaser image that I could find and the one Funko Pop. Off camera, I made a template. Well, more than one template. Once I settled on a design, I cleaned it all up printed it out, taped the pages onto a cereal box, and cut it out with scissors. I also used a utility knife to help cut out the tricky little corners, as well as score along the dotted lines. Scoring just means that I didn't cut all the way through. FYI, I only used one cereal box for this entire project. Whenever I do a mask or something like that, the pieces always look super weird until you tape the edges together. So I started with the eyes and slowly pushed and pulled until I got a nice little shape. See? It's a superhero mask. But the vulture has a beak. So I grabbed the two beak pieces and taped the inside of them together. If you're following along, this was kind of tricky to do since my sausage fingers are kind of big, but the goal is to keep all of the tape on the inside. However, bits of tape definitely stuck out and that's not a problem. I just took my sharp utility knife and sliced off all the visible pieces. Easy peasy. With the beak taped together, I gently opened it up and glopped in some hot glue. Each time I added hot glue, I just held it until that glue dried so it would dry in the shape that I wanted it to be. I also glued the edges on the inside of the mask. This was just some extra security just in case the tape decided to pop off. To attach the beak to the mask, I lined up the edge of the beak with the inside seam of the mask. This is the line that kind of lines up with the tear duct of the eyes if you were wearing the mask. This takes some fiddling and I went back and forth um, trying to just get it just right, but once you line it up, you'll know that it's lined up. But once that was glued in place, I moved on to painting. The paint job is super simple. Um, Vulture's mask is brown and just looks like it's a solid brown in this teaser image. So I debated keeping the color as is and keeping it as a cereal box cardboard color. But in the end, I opted for a golden brown craft paint with a very light dusting of brown craft paint. And this darker brown was just intended to break up the solid color, so I added it around the eyes and some streaks on the beak. But yeah, I attached some yarn to the mask so it could be worn, and with that, onto the glamour shots. There you have it, Vulture's Mask from Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. It's a very easy mask to make, and like I said in the beginning, all it takes is one cereal box. So yeah, I hope you guys like it. If you did, please subscribe and like the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye bye